now at 6. I-90 shut down a virtual cutoff between Cuyahoga and Lake Counties. This after a dump truck smashed into a bridge and the impact of the closure could stretch beyond this weekend. On your side, with Northeast Ohio's best coverage, this is News Channel 5. Good everybody, and thank you for watching. I'm Tracy Carlos. On one of Cleveland's busiest highways, I-90 is now shut down indefinitely on Cleveland's east side. After a tractor trailer slammed into a pedestrian bridge, taking out that structure, the truck hit the East 156th Street Bridge, and I-90 is now closed between East 152nd and East 200th. News Channel 5 has been on the scene all day long, and we go now live to Stephanie Ramirez, who joins us with the very latest on this accident. Steph? And Tracy, if you hear noise out here, it's because crews are working to secure this bridge. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see, but they are chaining the sides of the bridge, and the word we're hearing is if officials or uh, construction crews cut out the middle of the bridge, these chains will hopefully prevent it from actually falling through. But the entire highway, uh, both east and westbound of I-90, have been closed. It's around 645 this morning. That's when ODOT says a truck apparently traveling, traveling westbound with the trailer race slammed into the the 156th Street pedestrian bridge, pushing the bridge off of its foundation. These are scenes from this morning. The entire truck and trailer flipped over as a result of this. Authorities say the driver was traveling westbound again at the time. That 35 year old driver was not arrested, but police say he is facing several citations. While out here, we spoke to a councilman, Polensky, uh, I'm sorry. We also met with an ODOT spokesperson uh, on the crash. It's entirely unsafe right now for us to let traffic travel on 90 under the structure. So we've got engineers out there. We've got crews doing cleanup, but it's probably going to be closed through the weekend. Never seen anything like this, quite frankly. I think I've, I've seen everything, but to move a bridge of this size and this scale, uh, how could my question is how fast was he going? Right now, there is no word on when I-90 will be reopened, but there are detours posted. Officials say if you are traveling uh, and plan on traveling from Cleveland on I-90, you're going to want to get off at East 140th Street or East 152nd Street. If you're traveling westbound, you're going to want to exit off of East 185th Street or consider taking other routes like I-271 and 480 westbound. But one thing officials say is be prepared, leave early, because it is looking like traffic is going to be a mess possibly throughout the weekend and through the week. That's the very latest here on Cleveland's East Side. Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5. Okay, Steph, thanks very much. And, of course, we will continue to follow this. We've been following it all day, and we will continue all weekend to let you know. All right, the other big...